Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing a review of a war film from Russia, Russian language English subs, released in the year 2012, directed by Karen Shak Nazarov, and this movie is called White Tiger. So White Tiger is set during the World War II, where Russia were fighting against the Germans. Uh, the Germans have a tank known as the White Tiger. Now the White Tiger seems to be indestructible, and all the Russian forces are absolutely petrified of this tank. So this guy, he has been... Um, a, badly hurt during an explosion in one of his tanks and he has burns to basically 100% of his body. He's absolutely cooked. And so everybody gives him no chance of surviving this but all of a sudden miraculously his burns start to go away. So he's obsessed with chasing down the white tiger. He's obsessed with destroying it and he ultimately thinks that this is going to win the war. So he goes along with uh, some other uh, of his comrades and they trek through the remote lands of Russia in order to catch up to the White Tiger and destroy it once and for all. And whether or not this guy's obsession can uh, become accomplished is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on White Tiger. This is without a doubt one of the strangest war films I've ever seen. So if you're a fan of war films and uh, you, know, you, you come into White Tiger expecting you know, what you're going to get, uh, you know, which is you know, basically war sequences and you know, the run of the mill type of stuff, then White Tiger is probably not for you because it's a very philosophical film. It's a film that has double meaning and it's a movie that symbolizes a lot of things. So that's why it's very, very strange. And I love that about White Tiger. I love the fact that there's still a little bit of creativity amongst the war, sub, uh, the, the war genre. And so even if you are a fan of typical war films, I would still recommend you check out White Tiger if you don't mind contending with a few subtitles because it's something different. And I love the way that it was symbolic. It was basically showing you that people can confront their fears. Something that they're absolutely petrified of can be summed up within one object. And that's with mental health, you know, with psychiatrists, they will tell you, basically take all of your inner demons and your negativity and give them a name, give them a body, and so you can confront that thing. And that's exactly what I got from White Tiger, is that this white, uh, this white tiger, this German tank, symbolized everything that the Nazis were, the juggernaut that the Nazis were, how big you know, the army was and how destructive they could have been. I thought all of that was symbolized within this White Tiger tank. And I love that because it felt like it was a movie about confronting your demons or confronting, you know, the near impossible, never giving up, always thinking that you're good enough to be the person that you want to be. And so when the film takes place, yes, it is a war film, but it's so much more than that. And it shows you the, the, the darkness of war. Uh, it shows you, you know, just how useless war can be and how wasteful it is. And it's just everything packed into a very surreal atmosphere. It feels like you're dreaming. And you're not quite sure whether or not, you know, this guy in the tank is dead already. Or, in fact, if it's just a fantasy type of film. So there's a lot of stuff in there that makes it just one hell of an experience. I thought the cinematography was excellent. The war sequences, you know, the action sequences, there are some sequences, I thought they were mesmerizing, you know, it really hits you hard, it feels like you're in one of these tanks. But what gets you, as I said, is the different level of film, it's not a war film, it's a movie about, as I said, confronting your demons, it's a movie about life, it's a movie about getting all the negativity in your life, getting all the things that you're afraid of, giving them a voice, giving them a an object so that you can see them. And that's what White Tiger was. And this is what the Russians were faced up with. So it's basically everything that the Russians were scared of. And they're confronting it. And it does show you the, the bravery of man. And you know, basically not only fighting that what you can see, it's also about fighting what you can't see. And Karen Shak Nazarov has he's, he's taken a lot of risk with this film because as i said a lot of people are going to be thinking yeah this is a russian this is a russian war film and then i'm going to get a film like saving private ryan or you know american sniper or you know other films such as lebanon which is an israeli tank war film i just think that a lot of people are going to be misled by this film and thinking that it's going to be a war movie, but I would strongly recommend you still check it out because it'll make you think about your own life. For me, I've got a lot of inner demons, and I just love the way that Karen Chak Nasarov has just taken everything and put it into this one tank that seemed indestructible. It's like David versus Goliath, and I just thought the philosophical way, the symbolizing of the whole film was just a very uh, rich in depth, and it was just a movie experience that I wasn't expecting, and for that, I really, really like White Tiger. I thought the acting was very good,
Uh, the guy who played the main role thought was very mysterious. As I said, you don't quite know what this guy is up to or how he came to be what he was, uh, whether or not it's something you know to do with heaven or if it's the present. And as, as I said, it's just facing your fears. And that the whole facade of a war film is basically there to, uh, to symbolize, as I said, you confronting your demons, fighting your demons, and basically showing strength in the face of adversity. So it's a very, very interesting Russian war film that I really enjoyed and I'm highly recommending it. So overall, for White Tiger, I'm going to give it four and a half stars. It comes highly recommended. All right, guys, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. So next time, keep watching movies, and I'll see you later. Bye.